make sure I don't frick up my husband's car. He would trip. Well, I gotta wait for all these freaking cars. See, if this had been the old day, I would have just whipped this around so fast. But now I'm a little more responsible. Yeah. And it's not your car. And it's not my car. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my car. Yeah, this is our street right here, yeah. Had a lot of years here. So when I was at my most sick, uh, before I made the light on, this is where we moved to. And I ended up living here for about 16 years. But this used to be more of a gang neighborhood. Yeah. It was edgier, but everyone was always real nice to us. So right here, this is our old house right here with the white. They fixed it up a lot from what it was, but we lived there. That's where I wrote, leave the light on. I'm bipolar one. And um, my mania is the scariest part. That's what makes me want to drink. It makes me want to cut myself. I'm going a million miles an hour. I write tons of songs, Manic, but it's no way to be. I sing myself with a dirty face. I cut my luck with a dirty ace. I leave the light on. I leave the light on. I went from zero to minus ten. I drank your wine and I stole your man. I leave the light on. I leave that light on. This city can eat you alive, you know? You have to feel that it's okay to not belong if you don't feel like you belong. But did you feel that the city was eating you alive at one point? Yeah, because I think I felt like. Well, A, you know, I was unmedicated. I was also really into heavy drug and alcohol use. And um, I felt so small and insignificant, like LA was just so much bigger and smarter and better and just really insecure. Was there a moment that you didn't care anymore? What happened? Yes. Oh, yeah. Totally. There was longer than a moment. I think that I, I really didn't want to live anymore. And I think I was just starving myself to death. and taken all those things that I was hoping I would just die. 17 and I'm all messed up inside. I cut myself just to feel alive. I leave the light on. Yeah, I leave the light on. 21 on the run, on the run, on the run from myself, from myself in Getting to make music is, is something to bring me joy in my life and to help me get through my life. But the greatest blessings have been Scott and my parents and bipolar and alcoholism, mm. really. I think those have been the greatest blessings. They've, they've made me come to my knees and obliterated the ego, the big fat giant ego that I love to embrace from time to time. <laughs> and uh, I know I'm gonna have my mental swings I know there are going to be times that I want to drink so bad that I got to bite my lower lip, but it doesn't mean that I have to go there, no. you know? And what do I get to do to get through it? I get to reach out, whether it be through a song or calling my mother or calling a friend or being honest in an interview, you know, truth will set you free. The truth will set you free. Shine the light on the dark and it flees. Shine the light on the dark and it flees. Tell the freaking truth. Even if everybody thinks you're the biggest dick or you're just such a loser, it's worth it because that light will, will drive away the dark. I really believe that. I've seen it happen in my life. You know, shining that light, shining that truth, having the courage to tell the truth. And that's hard because, of course, I want to connect with everybody. Of course, I want to feel a part of the group. I want to feel a part of the human race. I don't want to feel alone. And I want to love. I don't know much about it. I 
Bless the child with a dirty face Who cuts her luck with a dirty ace She leaves the light on I still leave that light on Oh Okay.